Hello gentlemen, today I'm going to break down the October title update for Madden 25. So this is something that's been highly anticipated and I've got to say they did not disappoint. This is a very, very good patch and they addressed a lot of things that really needed to be fixed immediately. So I've actually been covering the patch all morning over on Twitter. If you guys aren't following me over there, you're missing out on a ton of content. I post daily tips that help you get better at the game. So I'm going to put the link to my Twitter in the description as well as the comment section. Go follow me. Now let's get into the patch notes. So let's talk about the gameplay changes. The first thing that they mentioned is that they have improved box call logic to cover four quarters and cover four palms. And this is basically designed to help against formations like gun bunch and any kind of compression really. So if you guys want me to do a breakdown on this, I think it would take an entire video and I can do that. Just let me know in the comment section if that's interesting to you. And then next we have fixed an issue causing deep zone defenders to react inappropriately to pump fakes, leaving receivers open deep. This is the pump fake glitch. I didn't talk about it on YouTube because I didn't want to spread it too much, but basically you could pump fake and just get any kind of deep zone just to bite, start running at the quarterback, get a one play touchdown. So it was pretty bad, but that is now fixed. And then we have, this one's talking about basically, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, uh, you can now use outside thirds in base sets like three, four odd. So before you could use outside thirds from your safeties, but you couldn't do it to both sides. But now it doesn't matter. It's just called outside third. I'll show you what it looks like. And you can create like three cloud or Tampa three out of a three, four odd. And that's incredibly helpful. So that's going to be a really good change moving forward. And then the last one I want to mention is going to be tuning to improve outside deep zone defender positioning, cushioning, and leverage versus corner routes. So this is actually something I haven't tested yet, but I imagine it's talking about how you could basically throw a corner route versus an outside third, even if there's nothing clearing out the outside third. So this is something I've complained about all year, how you can basically run bench concept and throw at a cover three, like an outside third. It just doesn't make sense. And you couldn't do it in Madden 24, but you can in Madden 25. I'm not sure how we went backwards with that, but apparently it's better now. So I'll have a look at that probably later on today. And then for passing and catching, there is really one that I mainly want to talk about, and it's the first one. Tuning to reduce the passing accuracy on high throw mechanic on competitive game style. So this is something I actually tested pretty in depth, I would say. And it's definitely more inconsistent now. So beforehand, high balling was perfectly accurate. I don't think I had many throws that were off the mark really at all, all season. And it's definitely different now. You're randomly going to get inaccurates. You're going to get yellow markers under your receiver where the ball is going to just go over his head. So I do think that they successfully tuned high balls. And for those of you who are spamming it all the time, you're going to take a hit. And for those of you who have been wishing or hoping that there would be some kind of balancing to this, I think you got your wish. I definitely think highballing is worse now, but I do think it's still usable. It's not something that we're going to abandon completely. And then we have the pre-snap alignment section. And I really want to talk about this more from a just big picture point of view, instead of just reading off these notes, really what they did here and what you're going to see in some of these notes, like, like right here is that they nerfed double mug. Double mug is no longer usable because like they say here, slant inside was giving these defensive tackles angles towards the mugged linebackers causing disengages on the interior but now when you do it you no longer get those crash down angles you just get straight angles so there's no more disengaged double mug that is completely fixed and then also they took it a step further and nerfed nickel wide because this was a lot of people's backup plan because if you pinch your linebackers in nickel wide pre-patch, it would come up and mug the gaps just like double mug, and you could still crash your defensive line down. But they made it so you can't even mug your linebackers in nickel wide. And also if you crash down, you just get the straight angles. So basically, double mug is dead. That is kind of like the main thing that they're saying in this entire section. And then there's one more thing I wanna mention that I don't think is in the patch notes. And that is the fact that they patched the dollar four man a gap. So if that was your defense, I'm sorry, but it's no longer here. It is getting picked up pretty much every single time, but the left guard or the center, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, it was just a right hash blitz where people could get the left of screen linebacker to go right through the a gap. And it was pretty annoying. I mean, you had to know pass protection for it. 
a lot of people did know it, but it was still a good blitz. So that is no longer in the game. Many people are going to be looking for a new defense now. If you guys need one, 335 penny on acemadden.com. Go use it. It's better than ever. And it's very easy to set up. Four-man blitz, five-man blitz. It's going to come in. So that's the Titans defense on acemadden.com. But that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. If you're happy that Double Mug is finally gone. Because I feel like we've been waiting on that for two months now. But anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys later.